So uh, the ZZR600 is no more. That's it, it's gone, I've sold it. And uh, I happened to break even, well just about break even, maybe I made a bit more. So yeah, it's gone. I got a mad story though. The day I was selling it, I decided to take it on one last ride just because I knew I was gonna miss it. So I put the key in, I go to start it, it starts, I put it in gear, I go to move off, nothing. Bike cuts out. And I'm like, what? How is this happening? Uh, I managed to, I don't know, I was losing my mind. But uh, I managed to take the switch apart, the gear stand switch, kickstand switch even. And I realised it was all gunked up, probably with like lots of like road debris and grease and shit. So I managed to get that all cleared out. I cleaned it and then I managed to sell it. Within the same week I managed to buy a replacement bike for the, for the ZZR. And I'm going to reveal that to you right now. There you go. This is a 2001 Suzuki Bandit. This is it. And obviously, this bike is not without its flaws. Um, first off, the neutral light does not work. Uh, so, put the key in. The bike is in neutral. That's meant to be the neutral light. Nothing. Another thing which I realised is that um, this peg, this rear peg, you can see it's a bit bent. It works, it does the job, but I can see it's bent. It's a bit out of line, so I bought whole new pegs to go with the bike. It matches this colour, I'm going to show it in a minute. And another thing is these mirrors. Nothing's wrong with the mirrors, they work great, but I just don't like them, they're not my style. So I've got some barring mirrors that I'm going to throw on here. And yeah, a bit more to my liking. The bike's okay. It's got an aftermarket shock. I don't know if you can see that aftermarket shock in there. But it makes the ride a bit stiff. But it's nice when you're on long, smooth roads. It feels brilliant. Another thing which I realised, I didn't clock when I went to buy the bike. But I've had a leak. You can't really see it. But there's a leak coming from this rocket cam cover. There's a leak. Um, what I've done, I didn't want to tackle this job myself because I'm not confident enough to do it. So I booked it into a shop. It's going to a shop tomorrow. They're going to replace all the gaskets on the bike. Hopefully that will solve the other leak and give me peace of mind. But for now, let's sit with this bike. Uh, next video, I'll show you the mirrors, the pegs, and maybe a few other bits and pieces. Uh, not sure what else is going to go on with this bike. I actually do like this bike. I rode it home and then I rode it straight to work. So in the first day of having it, I've done maybe about um, 100 miles. But because of the oil leak, I've been hesitant to uh, mess with it or ride it any anymore. But yeah, this is it. Let me know what you think about the bike any ideas etc would be good so yeah, ah shit Another, let me start it for you I'd be taking a piss if I didn't <laughs> I've got to pull the clutch in to start this one so bear with just chill out here for a minute It's got an aftermarket exhaust as well. I like it. Yeah. Alright, stay tuned for the next one.